I want to greet the church once again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, there, is, uh, there is this uh, text I want to share. The Proverbs 28 verse 2. It says, For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by men of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. Now, I want to also look at it. Let me, in the NIV, it will say, when a country is rebellious, it has many rulers. But a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. And that would be much more closer to the Hebrew translation. Because the final one in the other versions, like the King James, it will say, when there are men of righteousness, which is not actually what the Hebrew is saying. The Hebrew is saying when there is a man or a ruler of discernment and knowledge, he will maintain order. The interesting thing for me about verse 2 is it puts Christ at the center of something we never think about. According to the Bible, where there are many leaders, it is a sign that the nation is fallen. Because the Bible says, if one leader was righteous, that leader would sort out the nation. But because there's no righteous leader, the nation has to try many leaders. Why am I using this text as we close? The Bible remains with a very clear message. Until Jesus comes, we will not taste what it means to be led by righteousness. The Bible is very clear, try them all. The more you try, the more you are proving the Bible. Because the Bible says, where there are many leaders, let's use modern day terms, where there are democratic elections, where there is a parliament with 400 members sitting, the Bible says, no, corruption is ripe in the nation. That's why the nation has to try so many different people because it cannot find a righteous one and the bible says but the day the king of righteousness arrives then that nation shall never again be a rebellious nation until we submit that there is but one righteous ruler we will try as many as we like we will try as many as we like but the truth is there is only one who can lead this world and his name is Jesus. And for me, this verse anchors very simply. As long as I have to vote every five years, I have not made it yet to righteousness. Because my Bible says where there are many leaders, rebellion is rife. But where the king of righteousness is, not kings, where the king of righteousness is, there is no rebellion. And so Pastor Mente says to us, we are still waiting for that day. But what I love about my God is that though I am waiting for the second coming of Jesus, I can live life today as if he is already here. Those who study the theology, they tell us it's called the already but not yet to see something that has not happened and take it from the future and bring it to your present so that it governs you today. When you leave here tonight, if there is one thing I pray for, live like a citizen of the kingdom of the king of righteousness. Yes, for now, our addresses are in a space where there are many rulers. And the Bible has told us, when rulers are many, it is a sign corruption is everywhere. So for now, we are there. But you and I, we don't have to conform to the corruption of that world. You and I can say, I will live righteously as if the king of righteousness is the only one in charge. If there is one thing that I do not like, it is a Christianity that is irrelevant to the needs of the community. 
I do not understand. Why would the country be corrupt yet there are so many Christians? It means something is wrong in the pulpits. Because the corrupt politicians, the municipal managers, the government officials, the private sector that bribes, the racists, they all have pastors. Which means they go to church, but whatever is preached does not transform the way we live. You go to Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe they tell you, uh, we, we have uh, uh, 800,000 Seventh-day Adventists. Yeah? Proud. 800,000 Seventh-day Adventists. Yes. But they are steeped in corruption. Those Adventists. Where is the pride? What is it for? Numbers with no quality. What is the point of posting numbers when the nation is dying yet 800,000 citizens claim to be the remnant? South Africa has over 300,000 Seventh-day Adventists. Why is evil thriving around us? It is because we have disconnected the pulpit from the street. Some of you are the corrupt government officials. Seated here, you work at home affairs. You are taking bribes to give fake IDs. But here, you are choristering us. It is a sign that between the pulpit and the street, there is no connection. Some of you seated here, you are Adventist medical doctors. From Monday, you will be writing people fake sick notes. You are our elders on Sabbath. During the week, you sell corruption. We cannot continue with the churches that are disconnected to society. So when you live here tonight, decide. Are you led by the king of righteousness or by the many corrupt leaders? If you are led by the king of righteousness, go represent him where you work. Go represent him where you study. Go represent him in your business. Corrupt people are church members. Let us stop speaking about the evil of this world as if it's aliens that the devil brings and they do bad things and go away it's you you whom we have baptized you are the ones you are the traffic cops taking bribes on the road it's you you are the customs officials bringing drugs into the border you singing here today Facilitating drugs at our tambo tomorrow. Why? Because we are preaching a gospel that is not relevant to what the country is going through. It does not make sense until we leave it. So my final message to you is this. I'm not one of those preachers who is impressed by amen. God has given me one thing to preach for transformation. Until South Africa is corruption free, the gospel has not worked. Until Zimbabwe is corruption free, the gospel has not worked. Until we produce citizens who will take the kingdom of God from heaven and bring it here so that others can see that the king of righteousness is truly in charge. Where there are many leaders, it is a sign a nation is rebellious. But when the king of righteousness is in charge, 
there is righteousness in the nation.